From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. You want to go where to buy a new refrigerator? <coughs> Steve's A to Z Appliance in Cottonwood? <coughs> in Cottonwood? <coughs> Just a 10 minute drive. <coughs> and they'll save us money. <coughs> new and used, <coughs> honest, reliable, <coughs> factory trained repair service <coughs> and parts? <coughs> and they'll save us money and dispose of this thing. We gotta make the short drive to Steve's A to Z. Thanks, son. Steve's A to Z Appliance, front and main streets in Cottonwood. Drive a little, save a lot. Well, we've been in this cooling trend over the last few days and it's gonna to peak today. We're gonna to notice the temperatures will be coolest this week today and then they'll start to increase going into the weekend. But now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna focus more on the potential for thunderstorms. And starting today, I think we're gonna to start to see chances for thunderstorms in many of the mountains. That'll continue Friday. And then of course, it'll continue into Saturday as well before those chances start to diminish after that. And then of course, after those thunderstorms move out, the temperatures will start to warm up again. So let's take a look at your forecast for today. And yeah, the coolest of the week so far. We should be in the low to maybe some mid 90s. I think Reading, one of the warmer spots at 94, but you head out to Red Bluff at 91 and 90 degrees for Chico. Not too bad for this time of the year. And for the mountains, we're mainly in the 80s, but look at that. We're seeing a lot of lightning strikes in there. Now, not every single location is going to see lightning strikes, but every location has the potential. This is one of those situations where it's really hard to pinpoint exactly who will get it and who won't, but we can basically look at that type of situation and go, hey, listen, the conditions are prime for many of the areas in Siskiyou County, Modoc, and Lassen counties. Elsewhere, the chances start to diminish a bit, especially in the valley, but you'll notice we're starting to see some brown in here. Now, what that is, is that's the moderate risk. It's going from low to moderate. And the reason being, it's not because of just the winds, but the potential for dry lightning strikes. Now, you'll notice up here, the red, that is the lightning, the potential for dry lightning off into southeastern Oregon. We could see some of that here in Northern California. And even on Friday, in fact, maybe even a better chance on Friday, you can see now Trinity County part of that, all of Siskiyou County, Modoc, Lassen, Plumas County, all part of getting from the low to moderate risk of a fire potential. Now, again, it's mainly going to be from the potential for those dry lightning strikes. So we take a look at the severe outlook and you can see right here, this is the green indicating where we have the best chances for thunderstorms. Now there you can see, of course, the dry lightning in the same areas in green that I was just telling you about. And then that green kind of expands more, at least closer to the valley. Now, I don't think we're going to see thunderstorms in the valley on Friday, but you can see the chances for thunderstorms pretty much everywhere else in the mountains. So, yeah, those chances will be out there. Now, with that said, the National Weather Service has issued a red flag warning for Modoc County, but that won't take effect until Friday around 11 a.m., and then will expire 11 p.m. on Friday. So that's when we have the best potential for dry lightning strikes, which will be on Friday. But we could see it as early as today. All right, so take a look at Futurecast. Here's we're gonna take you through the afternoon. Here's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Notice most of the thunderstorms are off to our east. And that's where, of course, we saw that red on the fire potential. That's where the dry lightning strikes could be. But look at this, we're seeing a little bit of activity developing in Trinity County. So that's not out of the question either. And we're seeing a lot of the clouds begin to develop here, but not a lot of thunderstorms at this point. Now we take it about 6 p.m. this evening. Now it's mainly out near Etna. Really, again, don't take exactly where this is to be the exact location. What it's telling you is that we can see a few pop-ups and still maybe a few pop-ups, uh, pop-ups, especially in northern Trinity County and Modoc County and even Lassen County could see some activity. We go into tonight at about 9 p.m. Now we're seeing some activity still around Modoc County and elsewhere, right? But then it dries out. But I think we're gonna see another round of thunderstorms and a better chance coming in Friday. Here's Friday at noon. We're already beginning to see thunderstorms develop. Nothing major at this point. Then we go to 2 p.m. Now we're seeing it near Trinity County, Siskiyou, Modoc, Lassen County, even Eastern uh, Shasta County could see some activity as well. Then we go into Friday afternoon, Friday p.m., 4 p.m. Trinity County, Siskiyou, all basically this whole area right here, seeing the potential for thunderstorms. And that'll continue in about Friday, 6 p.m. And then by Friday night, Saturday morning, it dries out again. But look at Saturday afternoon. Now we're seeing more thunderstorms begin to try to pop up again. So I think what we're seeing here is a chance for off and on thunderstorms, mainly in the mountains, come today, tomorrow, and Saturday. But what's interesting, now the latest forecast models want to show that sometime around Monday, Tuesday of next week, 
we could be looking at another round of some activity here. So we'll have to watch for that potential going into early next week. But with that said, we're also looking at temperatures dropping going through next week. And these clouds moving in could be a reason for that. Speaking of temperatures, we do have that increase. We could be looking at temperatures well over 100 degrees for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but then they start to drop again. We're back down into the mid 90s. So they go up and then right back down again. So for today, they're on the downward trend at this point. Today's the peak of that cooling trend. 94 Redding, 91 Red Bluff, and 90 in Chica. Now, don't look at this and go, oh my goodness, there's gonna be thunderstorms everywhere. No, there are gonna be isolated thunderstorms in the mountains. It's just each and every single one of these locations has the potential to get caught up in some of that activity. But that doesn't mean you will. This is one of those days where if you work outside in the mountains, for example, you just want to keep a close eye to the sky to make sure that none of those thunderstorms are developing over you. Take a look at your seven day outlook here. And today, tomorrow, Saturday, these three days are the best chances for mountain thunderstorms. Again, not every single day will all of these locations see those thunderstorms, but the chances are there. Temperatures increase Sunday, Monday before they drop back down again, Tuesday, Wednesday. No thunderstorms in the valley over the next several days, just those warm ups in those temperatures after today. We're back up to about 98 for Reading on Friday, 106 degrees. As we go uh, into the weekend, the peak of this weekend's heat wave will be on Sunday with a high of 106, and then temperatures will start to drop again after that. We're down to 99 degrees by Tuesday, 95 Wednesday for Reading. And then you can see for Chico, should be in the upper 90s for your Tuesday down into the mid 90s, as well as Red Bluff by next Wednesday.